G'day everyone, how's it going? So this will be a, uh, a wrap-up video of the seven days of Nika Takatsuru pure malt whiskies and uh, how I rank them. Okay, so if you've been watching the videos you've probably got a clue anyway, but where am I? I'm in the, uh, the side of the Banti Shrai Temple, which was one of the temples of the ancient city of Angkor. Angkor, I looked it up, it actually just means city. So, so the translation from that uh, language to Angkor is just city. But uh, read the stats and it was huge back in the day. So 700 to 900,000 uh, people they estimate lived in this city. But Banti Sri, this is one of the, uh, the temples here. It's also known as the Pink Temple. And it's the only temple that wasn't commissioned by one of the kings of the, uh, the kingdom of Angkor. It was actually commissioned by a Hindu Brahmin. So there you go. Get that out of the way. So let's go. So number seven. Well, number seven has got to be the 12 year old. I'd call it last place <laughs> and we'll go up from there. Uh, kind of deserves last place to tell you the truth. It is, uh, it is not got a lot going on. It's really kind of weak. 40% ABV. Don't know what Nick was thinking why you'd bother doing a 12 year old at 40% ABV. But, uh, but yeah, not my cup of tea, and uh, yeah, definitely a no buy for me uh, on the second hand market. <laughs> and uh, fortunately, I got to uh, to get some for free and get a free bottle as well, so I didn't have to pay for it. So, anyway, last place, seventh, whatever you want to call it, the 12 year old, maybe it's a favorite of yours. Okay, so sixth place that goes to the uh, the no age statement with the white label just isn't a patch on the old one uh, the old version whatever they put in the blend it just doesn't have the body the amount of flavor the amount of complexity I will give it a crack in a couple of years again what I found was with when Yuichi first rele released their no age statement bottling when they were canning all the age statements when I first got a bottle I wasn't impressed and then years later I bought another bottle and it definitely improved I think they could just put more age statement whiskey in the blend so I'll give the white label another crack but uh, yeah, not a patch on the black and gold. So going up from there, so what are we up? Fifth place, the 17 year old, it's really inconsistent. That's the problem with the 17 year old. Are you gonna get a, an 83 or an 84 pointer or a 88 point whiskey? You just don't know. The inconsistency for me, for a 17 year old that, uh, you know, back in the day was cheap, but isn't cheap anymore on the secondary market. So there you go. So let's go up. Now, the 25 year old is next on the list. And look, I didn't get to spend a lot of time with it, but it was just too delicate to get good impressions. So I'd think for a 25 year old, there'd be a lot more heft to it, a lot more complexity. I didn't find it. Maybe with a bit more time I'd elevated up the, the rankings, but next was the 25 year old. So, then I'm going to do second and third place. Kind of, it's hard for me to, to separate them. Who would be second, who would be third? Think of it like a PGA golf tournament. There's a winner, but then sometimes second and third finish at the same, at the same score. So they divide up the prize money, but they are given second and third prize money. So it's a toss up. So the 21 year old can also be a bit inconsistent. You know, are you gonna get an, again, an 85 or an 86 or are you, are you gonna get an 89? So, and it's up against the no aid statement with the black and gold label. And that no aid statement really is that good. So, if it's an 89, it's a bit above the no age statement with the black and gold label. However, for consistency, the no age statement with the black and gold label, it, it beats the 21 year old. So a good bottle of the 21 year old just gets above maybe a point or two of the black and gold label, but an inferior batch for want of a better word of the 21 year old, rates a bit under there so I'm going to give those to second and third place but obviously value for money if you can get that black and gold label run do not walk grab some and then let's go gold medal place okay it's the 35 year old 
it's in another league and I just wish that everyone got an opportunity to taste it. The costs are prohibitive for 99.9% .9 of humans on the planet. You just, you wouldn't spend that much on a bottle of whiskey. Maybe if you're in Japan or somewhere and you're seated at a bar and you can get it for, get a half shot for 50 bucks or something like that. I don't know what it's gonna cost. It's probably worth it, but it is head and shoulders above all the others and in one of my well in a place probably in the top 10 japanese whiskies i've ever tasted out of around 570 it's that good so anyway that's my thoughts guys on the nika takatsuru range uh, i know that there's other kind of limited releases and stuff but that was just what we would call the standard range back in the day so thanks for watching goodbye from bunty Sri in Cambodia. See you in the next video. Bye for now.